ever heard about a TV show that shook the norms of its time? All in the family did just that. But did you know that before this groundbreaking series aired, its original pilot was rejected not once, but twice? Imagine if that happened at her screens might have missed out on the icon that is Archie Bunker. This show wasn't just about laughter, it dove headfirst into societal issues, daringly addressing taboo topics like race, politics, and social change. And here's a lesser known nugget, the character of Archie Bunker was initially supposed to be less extreme. But the actor, Carol O'Connor, brought an extra dimension to the role. Now, I'm curious though you have any favorite behind-the-scenes stories about the making of All in the Family. Or perhaps, has this show ever stirred something within you, sparking a shift in perspective or inspiring change in some way? Share your stories and memories with us below. We're all ears for those golden nuggets from the era of classic TV. Set in the 1970s, All in the Family emerged as a groundbreaking sitcom that redefined television. Created by Norman Lear, the series was an American adaptation of the British show Till Death Us Do Part. It centered around the irascible Archie Bunker, a blue-collar worker with strong opinions, played by Carol O'Connor, and his interactions with his wife Edith, daughter Gloria, and son-in-law Michael Stivick, portrayed by Gene Stapleton, Sally Struthers, and Rob Reiner, respectively. The show challenged societal norms by delving into contentious topics like racism, sexism, and politics, all within the confines of the Bunker household. Archie's conservative views clashed with Michael's liberal ideologies, sparking heated debates that mirrored the cultural tensions of the era. Despite Archie's gruff exterior, the series revealed his vulnerabilities, humanizing a character often perceived as stubborn and narrow-minded. The boldness of all in the family lay in its unflinching portrayal of societal issues, using humor to confront prejudice and bigotry head-on. It broke barriers by introducing complex, flawed characters and initiating discussions on topics previously considered taboo for television. The series' impact was far-reaching, influencing future sitcoms and shaping the landscape of socially relevant programming. Through its authentic storytelling and memorable characters, All in the Family became a touchstone of American television, leaving an indelible mark on popular culture that continues to resonate. Its legacy endures as a testament to television's power to provoke thought, challenge norms, and inspire change. The Jeffersons, a spin-off from a 1971 TV show, outlasted its predecessor, lasting 11 seasons, two more than the original series. Both the Jeffersons and the subsequent Archie Bunker's place faced abrupt cancellations that left casts and crews feeling blindsided. The reasons varied, possibly tied to network conflicts with key actors and declining ratings. Despite behind-the-scenes tensions, the impact of these spin-offs endures, reflecting the complexity of the industry's dynamics. The personal connections between cast members, like the friendship between Rob Reiner and Billy Crystal, also influenced on-screen relationships, such as Crystal's role in a significant episode. These dynamics, both on and off-screen, contributed to the lasting legacy of the show, leaving a mark on television history that continues to resonate. The first show ever created by Norman Lear, this sitcom was an American adaptation of a British series. It broke ground by addressing societal issues like racism and sexism within a family setting. The character Archie Bunker, portrayed by Carol O'Connor, became iconic for his blue-collar, opinionated persona. The clash between his conservative views and his son-in-law's liberal ideologies sparked intense debates, reflecting the cultural tensions of the era. Despite Archie's gruff exterior, the show revealed his vulnerabilities, humanizing a character often seen as stubborn. Through humor, it confronted prejudice and bigotry head-on, setting a new standard for TV. The impact of this groundbreaking series continues to influence modern television. Archie Bunker's family history reveals his parents as David and Sarah, with his mother's maiden name being Longstreet. This background sheds light on the roots of his character and values. Additionally, the New York City home that served as the exterior for the Bunker household stands on Cooper Ave, near 89th Saint in the Glendale section of Queens, adding a tangible link to the show's setting. In Gloria's False Alarm, a pivotal episode, Edith unveils that Gloria is an only child due to complications after her birth, influencing the family dynamic. 
These insights into the characters' origins and familial dynamics contribute to the depth of the show's storytelling, enriching the audience's understanding of the Bunker household and its dynamics. The house on Cooper Avenue in Queens, NYC, was iconic, featured in the opening and closing scenes. Across from a cemetery, it set the stage for the show's familial dynamics. Interestingly, certain characters spun off from the series made returns, adding depth to their original narratives. Isabel Sanford, Sherman Hemsley, and Mike Evans reprised their roles in specific episodes, bridging their spin-offs to the original narrative. However, not all welcomed the show's impact. Lucille Ball criticized its content, contrasting it with her own work, showcasing a divide in perceptions of television culture at the time. These intricacies hint at the show's influence and how it resonated differently with various audiences, showcasing its impact on the cultural landscape of TV. Carol O'Connor, the actor behind the iconic character of Archie Bunker, once remarked that the show mod didn't resemble anyone he knew and considered it a lesser sitcom compared to his own. This sentiment echoed the on-screen tension between Archie and Maude. However, O'Connor also expressed a belief that the series didn't instigate any notable societal or political changes, nor did it leave a lasting impact on television. Despite its popularity and critical acclaim, according to O'Connor, the show's influence might not have extended beyond its entertainment value. The series experienced a resurgence in the early 1990s. After a successful 20th anniversary retrospective special in February 91, CBS re-aired episodes in prime time that summer. Surprisingly strong ratings led to continued broadcasts throughout the 91-92 TV season. At times, these reruns outperformed original prime time programming, even surpassing CBS' own shows. This unexpected revival highlighted the enduring popularity of the series and its ability to captivate audiences, affirming its relevance years after its initial run. The character dynamics in the series took intriguing turns behind the scenes. At one point, there was a potential shift in focus from Archie Bunker to Stretch Cunningham due to a contract dispute involving Carol O'Connor. Imagine, the show nearly centered around Stretch moving into care for Archie's family had the dispute not been resolved. Ironically, James Cromwell, who played Stretch, was also in the running for a role in MASH around the same time. Additionally, plans for Gloria's pregnancy storyline were postponed due to O'Connor's delay in returning for the fifth season, altering scripts to accommodate his absence. Interestingly, early episodes briefly experimented with musical scoring a rarity in taped sitcoms, a format Norman Lear's shows typically adhere to. The dynamic backstage choices offer intriguing glimpses into the show's alternate paths. As we part ways, consider the myriad ways in which a TV series from yesteryears, known for its raw portrayal of societal dynamics, might have touched your life. Perhaps it sparked discussions around your dinner table or shed light on aspects of the human experience that still resonate today. Share your cherished moments or reflections, those instances when the show left an indelible mark on your thoughts or heart. Every viewer's journey through the tangled web of characters, issues, and emotions within this iconic series is a unique narrative waiting to be shared. Whether it's Archie's unfiltered opinions or the poignant moments of understanding, your experience is a thread in the larger tapestry woven by all in the family. Thank you for allowing nostalgia to lead this introspective stroll down memory lane. Your recollections add depth to the enduring legacy of this culturally impactful show. Your time and thoughts are treasured.